Hi, I'm Rocky Heron, and today I'm going to show you a couple ways that you can actively strengthen and lengthen your hamstring muscles. So there are three compartments of the hamstrings. There's hamstrings that run on the inner part of the leg, hamstrings on the outer part, and hamstrings on sort of the middle compartment of the leg. So movement in some familiar yoga poses will help to target each of those hamstrings in slightly different ways. So we'll start with sort of the, the middle part of the hamstring. If you take a wide position and turn your legs to one side, you can come into this familiar pose, which is Parjvottanasana, which means intense stretch to one side. We get a, a really a lengthening of all three of the hamstrings. Now, oftentimes in these postures, we outsource the weight responsibility or the support of our legs into our arms and sort of fall over our legs. And this would be an example of more of a passive or an inactive uh, stretch for the legs. However, if we lift our hands off the floor and push ourselves back up to standing, it actually becomes the hamstring muscles themselves that are shortened or that are uh, innervated to bring us back up to the standing position. So one way you can keep your hamstrings engaged as you lengthen them is to fold forward and instead of using your hands on the floor, to keep the arms lifted and then work little pulsations coming up and modulating a release down. So you only want to lower down as far as you can support yourself in coming back up. And you'll feel, if you do this successfully, a squeezing of muscle tissue right up towards the hamstring attachment on the sitting bone. And one further way that you can load the hamstrings as you develop strength in this way is by making your spine longer and heavier. So your arms can go overhead, you can even straighten your elbows and as you fold forward. You might tap your fingers to the floor, come up a little bit, stabilize the hamstrings, and come down again. Tap, stabilize, and tap. So again, coming all the way back up, those hamstrings shorten, so we get strong, long, functional hamstrings. For the medial part of the hamstrings, you can do a similar endeavor in triangle pose in Trikonasana. Bring my arms out to the side, turn my front thigh out, and push through my feet to lift my spine. As I lean to one side, again, instead of just collapsing into the leg or collapsing to the floor, I want to modulate a release. I might just touch my shin and then come up a little bit. So it's going to be those same inner hamstring muscles firing that will pull me up out of the pose so I can modulate a deeper, more supported release into the pose. Okay. Now, in your normal practice, if you practice at a studio, if a teacher isn't necessarily teaching in this way, just simply taking your hand off the floor or off the block for a moment, pushing through your legs and stabilizing. And then when you bring your hand back down, just lightly touching the prop will help to sort of integrate this into your, um, your normal practice. Finally, for the lateral hamstrings, it can uh, involve a little bit of a twist. So the pose might look like Parvritta Trikonasana and actually place a block down here. And with the feet turned, I'm going to turn my torso away from my front leg and then revolve, come down and similarly touch the floor or touch the block and then pulse back up. Squeeze that outer hamstring to rotate back. So it's this modulation a little bit deeper each time and the push back up that will strengthen and lengthen the outer hamstring. You might lower the block a bit until ultimately the hand can come to the floor. Once my hand does come to the floor and I'm in the pose, again, I'm not collapsing into the hamstring, collapsing into my hand, but just creating a light contact so my legs stay engaged and capable of pulling me skillfully, successfully come up out of the pose. So we never want to move deeper into a posture than we're able to support ourselves in getting out of the posture not just by pushing into the floor with our arms, but also you know, with the muscles that we are actively or hopefully actively stretching. So give these techniques a try in your practice. Let us know how it goes. And thank you for checking us out. Enjoy the rest of your day. Namaste.